Hello, and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. And the McRib is back. Um, so, I'm probably the last person that's going to ever review this out of all the people who review things. But, uh, honestly, I had other plans. I had plans to go with someone, buy them some McNuggets, treat them all nice like that. And I was going to eat the McRib right then and there, just hang out with them. And just put it on my Instagram, you know. Well, plans fell through, and that person is no longer my friend. So, I was like, I don't have much to review. So, I'll go ahead and review this. And uh, Sheets just dropped three new drink items for the holiday season. So, I have to, well, I don't have to, but I feel the urge to go review all three this week. Um, but, I was like, I'm going to stick to it, do the McRib review, then review those three Sheets things. I may review a salted caramel item from Sheets as well, um, but I ain't got much longer until I go home, so I'll be reviewing some Wawa things, and a lot of those things you've been seeing come out, like the Smash Burger Burger, the Freddy's uh, new Concrete, and a few, oh, the Rally's new Mother Cruncher, I will be reviewing all those, so a lot of things are coming. Just be patient and be on the lookout for those. Um, but the McRib is the most convenient item for me to review right now. And uh, I felt like I could have some fun with it. So I don't want to waste your time too much more. But uh, it's going to be a fun-filled week. Anyways, um, the, the, the most recent thing that I've eaten that has tasted like a McRib, in my opinion, was when, the, uh, when Subway did their own short rib sub. And again... Nothing about it was like, oh, fantastic. And I always hear people hype up the McRib, but I've just never thought, oh, fantastic. Now, in my opinion, this thing looks kind of smaller than it used to be. Like, it looks thinner. It looks as long as it used to be, but it looks a little bit thinner. Um, but I feel like this might be filling enough to please anybody. Of course, you're supposed to get these things with french fries, and I'm sitting here with no french fries, so... You can see how this experience might not be as good. But, you know what? Doesn't matter. I don't need french fries. I have other things to eat. Sugary snacks and chips and all that stuff. So there's a good look at the McRib in the container. It's got a, its own container. So that's a good thing for the McRib. Is it did spend money uh, doing that. And so this, thing, this bad boy is going to be messy. So I got to get my napkins ready all over my lap. And, uh... Y'all know what the McRib looks like. I don't know why I'm showing it off to you, but um, I'm going to get my napkins ready. And we're going to start eating this. But no, I've never been a big fan of the McRib, and a lot of people have been. There's a cult following, for sure. So, I don't know. I'm going to give it another chance. Hence why it may be good. It may be entertaining for me to do a review. Because I'm not like most people. I'm not a big McRib fan. But anyways, kind of like a sub but smaller, so let's go ahead and start eating this thing. You know what? This one's not quite as saucy as the ones I've had in the past. I, mean, I don't know what to think about it, but pretty much this looks like ground pork, like a ground pork patty process. Nothing, nothing terrible about it. And actually, you know, this is not bad. I don't mind this. I'm just ready for this bite of pickle I'm about to get. But here's a good look at the inside of a McRib. Just so you folks out there can see if you've never seen it. <clears throat> but I suppose you probably have seen it. I mean, most people watching, you probably had a McRib, right? You don't live on their rock, I suppose. I do know people who live on a rock. There was this dude. <clears throat> we went in my small group, and we went to Krispy Kreme. And this dude, I, th there's been a couple examples of how he lives on a rock, but this was a huge example. Uh, <clears throat> he came with us to Krispy Kreme, and we were like, "Come on, eat a donut." And he said, "I'll eat a bite." This dude. Took a little nibble of it, put it down, and said, no, I, I can't eat a donut. I can't eat a donut. It's like, wow. This dude has never eaten a donut and refuses to eat a donut, and it was crazy. 
But uh, hopefully you don't live on the rock and you know what the McRib's all about. I thought the pickle was uh, going to enhance it. But I thought the pickle, in my opinion, wasn't great. To me, the sandwich feels kind of light overall. I thought it would be more dense, but not overly filling. You could probably eat a couple of these. The meat is very tender. I wouldn't say it's delicious, but tender always works. Um, no, I'm not seeing why people would say, oh, this is the most magnificent thing in the world, why it's a 10, but again, they've got the cult following, so... It's not, it's not the best sandwich in the world, of course. I wouldn't even say it's the best thing I've had at McDonald's. I would say probably one of my lesser favorite things. But for some reason, people love this thing. For me, overall, it's a seven. Just because of how iconic it is. And the fact that it's kind of light. It's not overly bearing. I'm not feeling sick after I eat this by any means. And it's kind of tender and juicy. But other than that, I mean, the flavor doesn't make me go, wow, I'm dying for more. You know? I'm just not. That's just me. But... Maybe you'll have a different opinion, but I give it a seven. I'm being realistic here. I'm not like, woo, woohoo, amazing. No, that's not me. That's not my attitude towards this. Um, I'm not a show out. I'm not part of the mainstream. I'm not McDonald's little puppy dog. Um, but it is good. So if you want something different than the norm when it comes to fast food, the McRib's always something you should try. Um, and it's not around forever. Um, and when I say different from the norm, what, what other things are, come to mind, you may be wondering? Well, yeah, the, the biggest different from the norm thing I'm always thinking about is Arby's Roast Beef Sandwich. I love them. And maybe some people might have the same opinion uh, I have towards McRib, towards the Roast Beef Sandwich. Oh my, that is one of the big different things that I really love. When it comes to fast food, um, are there other things that come to mind? Not particularly. I mean, there's some items that just slip my mind a lot, but that's one of them. Uh, but the McRib is one of those few items out there that's just different from your normal fast food item that I think you should go try. Um, oh, Bo when Bojangles does like a pork chop biscuit or whatever that's always different but i mean yeah like when when these things are around you gotta you gotta try them out for sure um but nothing special about the mcrib other than it's unique and it's different and you may want to go try it it's light not overly filling so if you're looking for a light lunch and about to eat a big extravagant dinner or something like maybe on christmas eve i don't know if they'll still have the mcrib by then i suppose they will this is definitely a good item. So, yeah, light lunch, simple, juicy, tender, goes down easy, but nothing extravagantly tasty, you know. You know the deal. It's a McRib, and that's all I got to say on that. So, yeah, plenty of things coming in the near future. Hope you check out my channel some more. Go ahead and just subscribe. I forgot to tell you all that. And like, comment, share, and uh, check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Food. So that's all I got for y'all, and I will see y'all around.